Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the gas station. It's been a while since I did a gas station chat. It's gotten so damn busy in here. This is Monday, July 29th. Two days left in July. Man, what a weekend. Hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. How y'all are starting off your week, your week? I was out at Saber Dart Eggers, went out there Friday after work, didn't come back to those. Uh, today, when I had enough time to take a shower and come to work, I love it. Got to work on Alex's building out there, doing some framing on the inside. Make sure to watch the video I posted Saturday night. Uh, late, late Saturday night. And, um, uh, Saturday night had a great live stream as usual. But I'll tell you, working in Alex's building, it was so hot. I mean, it was unbelievable how hot those things are with no insulation and no window. I mean, he's got the one window. Uh, we had a fan in there, but that fan was like blowing flames. <laughs> it wasn't doing anything to cool anything off. We go to the cabin with the AC on. But yeah, it's gonna be nice for him. And my building that I wasn't expecting until September 2nd, they told me September 2nd. And judging by how they did Alex, we figured October we'd see it. Well, they called Saturday, they were ready to deliver it. Like, you gotta be kidding, we're not even ready. So, I still got a lot of clearing I gotta do in the driveway, a lot of brush to cut back. And I have to take out the gate, I have to take out the mailbox so they can get that 16 foot building up the driveway. So I said, look, I'll call you when I'm ready for it. But yeah, I'm anxious to get mine out there now. So like I said, this weekend is gonna be a family affair. Everybody's gonna be clearing brush, making a path to get that 16 foot building up to my path. And then I'll be able to show you how I'm gonna do the addition onto it. So then it'll start making more sense. But yeah, I was real excited to see it got done that early. All right, what else is happening? Oh, I got to tell you this. Saturday, while I was editing video, yeah, I had the TV on. It just was on for noise, basically. Uh, and it, it was Sanford and Son. If you remember that show? I loved that show. So, and I'm not really paying that much attention to it. But there's a scene, you know, one of the episodes. They're talking to this this lawyer, this black lawyer, real slick dude with, you know, the pimp hat, everything, right? And what caught my ear, right? Fred Sanford says, who do you think you are, Iceberg Slim? And I'm like... Wow, I cannot believe I heard that name, you know? And I was wondering, and I want to know the truth now if you watch this video, right? If you had to look up who Iceberg Slim was, because I know who Iceberg Slim was. I don't, I don't think very many people would know. Um, now, Ice-T did a, document, a documentary on him uh, about pimp you know, the story that changed my life. That was his book. Um, but Ice-T did that documentary. I saw that. Um, Ice-T, or Iceberg Slim was born in like 1918 or something like that. It was a pimp out of Chicago and uh, gave up the pimp life and became an author. And his big book, I have the books at home. I have Iceberg Slim books at home. And, uh, Ice-T was mentioning, he had all the books, you know, there were paperbacks you could get for a quarter back then. Uh, Trick Baby, I mean, just the whole, a whole series on, you know, pimping and everything. His real name was Robert Beck. Uh, I think he died in the early 70s. But yeah, Iceberg Slim, I cannot believe I heard that, that name, Iceberg Slim, and that I know who it is. So I'm just curious how many other people know would recognize the name Iceberg Slim and knew it was Robert Beck. So there's your trivia for the, bring that up at your next uh, cocktail party. All right, what else is happening? 
the title of this video and what I wanted to talk about, probably not take too much time, I hope. Hate has kidnapped our election process. And by that, I mean, we have spent the last 30 years teaching nothing but hate in this country. And everywhere there is a possibility to separate us as a people, they drive that wedge in and make us hate each other. That way none of us can, can be together. We all have to hate each other for something. I remember uh, there's a song by Chris Christopherson way back in the Cisco Kid days, you know, back in the early 70s. We did the Pilgrim Chapter 33 and Bobby McGee, yeah, all those songs. Um, but it's called Jesus Was a Capricorn. Uh, Jesus was a Capricorn. He ate organic food. He believed in love and peace and he never wore no shoes. But one of the lines in that song is, uh, reckon they'd just nail him up if he came down again because everybody has to have somebody to look down on. And they're, they've made us this way. We look down on everybody. We hate everybody. No matter who it is, we have to hate them. And the reason why I say hate has kidnapped our elections. I remember when in the 80s, you wanted to vote for Robert Reagan. I mean, I don't care who you wanted to vote for. But what we would hear is their plans for America, what they were gonna do for the American people if they got elected. And with that, if I wanted to talk, let's say I wanted to vote for Ronald Reagan, I would wanna convince my friends to vote for Ronald Reagan. I would talk about Ronald Reagan. I would talk about the good he had done, the good, plans he had, how he was going to accomplish stuff. All of this was part of the campaign. And I would be a part of that process because I would be trying to tell my friends, hey, I, you know, I think you should vote for Ronald Reagan. You know, because blah, 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 this is what he's done. Well, today, nobody cares what a candidate is going to do for our country. Nobody cares what a candidate is going to do for the people. All we care about is how much we hate the other candidate. And that's all we want to talk about. We don't talk about anything that, that their policies might be. It doesn't matter. We hate Joe Biden. We hate Democrats. We hate liberals. We hate Donald Trump. We hate right wing. We hate MAGA. We hate this. We hate everything. Don't vote for Kamala Harris because of what she might do for the country and for the people. Vote for her because you hate Donald Trump, right? Don't vote for Donald Trump because you think he's going to be able to fix anything, which I've said numerous times he can't. It's unfixable. He might buy his time. But let's not talk about what he's willing to do, what he can do. At least we get more on that side. I mean, you know, he's going to deport every Mexican that's come, or every illegal alien that's come across the border in the last four years, like he could find them. Uh, but we hate the Democrats and the liberals and Kamala Harris so much, we're gonna vote for Donald Trump, you know? We will vote for anybody because of hate. That's how pitiful our nation has become. Really, I'm sad. I'm saddened by it. I think we need to get over the hate. We need a candidate who can bring us back together. They'd spew all of this hate for four years. I love what the Democratic Party is trying to do now. For four years, they have done the only thing they've been concerned about for four years is 
repealing everything Donald Trump did, blame the entire state of the world on Donald Trump, try to arrest him, I mean, arrest him, try to send him to prison, try to kill him, I mean, everything because of hatred, right? That's getting us nowhere, absolutely nowhere, because we have to hate everybody. All the memes you see on, on, on Facebook, there's nothing, uh, the good things about it. It's all, let's make fun of that person. Let's laugh at that person, you know? And that's not the way you have an election. I mean, you know, I mean, I personally don't think it matters who you vote for because they're going to put in power who they want to put in power. The election process has become uh, voting is now a way to make you feel the illusion of choice. We really have no choice. Right? But they give us that illusion. And they think we buy it because, you know, we decide who's going to be the president. We all know better than that. That ended a few couple of decades ago as well. Um, now it's totally corporate owned. And like I said, they, they give the illusion of choice. So that's what I wanted to talk about. We got to get over the hate. The only way we're going to get over the hate and get over this is like I mentioned Saturday night. This is what we have to get sunk into everybody's heads. This is our country, not the government's country. This is my country to tell the government what they have to do. This is not the government's country to tell us what we have to do. They don't tell us what to do, right? We let them bastardize this whole idyllic country so that they can be in a position to have total power. You know, that's what we have to stop. That's what we have to take back. And that behemoth that is the federal government is growing at, uh, you can't stop it now. The only way to stop it is take it down, destroy it, kill it. And then we can start anew, right? Our greatest weapon is the Constitution of the United States. That's how we can fix this. That we need that. And we need to wipe out this federal government use the Constitution to make a new one and start over again and do it right and not hate each other. Because right. right now, the United States of America doesn't exist anymore. We're a gigantic refugee center. Right? Any day now, I expect to see these people uh, like all the commercials, send food to Israel, send food to Ukraine, send food to these people. They're going to be saying, send food to the United States, you know. For twenty nine ninety five a month, you can feed a person in the United States. I mean, that's where we're headed, folks. That We really are. We got how many millions, how many tens of millions of people have come in here that can't even speak English? We don't need them. We got to get rid of them. We have to stop this. Donald Trump can stop it. I mean, he will put all his policies back in place and try to stem the tide. But, you know, the damage has been done. I don't know how you undo the damage. You know, make America great again? Absolutely, we need to do that. But one person is not going to make America great again. Only we have that power now. That's it. That's as simple as it is, folks. We have to do it. I'm not depending on anybody else to do it. I'm trying to r rally up my friends. We have to get better organized. We have to get better educated. And we have to be ready to take this back. Because if we don't take it, 
I'm telling you what, it's so far out of hand and it's so bad. If we don't take it, Russia's ready to take it. China's ready to take it. They're going to gang up on us and we're going to lose. Then we won't have the opportunity to take our country back because it won't be ours anymore. You know, I said this before 50 years ago, we were the greatest nation on earth. We were the most feared and the most respected. Now, we're not, we're the laughing stock of, of the earth. I mean, everybody's laughing at us as they watch us crumble. All right? It's sad. It really is. We have to do it. We have to take it back. So, hopefully, a few people will get to see this video before it gets taken down. Uh, but I don't care anymore. I'm fed up with it. I'm fed up with this whole system that has created itself. You know? We have to fix it. And ladies and gentlemen, there's only one way to do it. And you know what it is. So, that's all I got to say. I hope everybody had a great weekend once again. I hope you're having a good week. I hope you have a great week. Uh, hopefully the windows come in for Alex are due to be delivered tomorrow to the house. If we get those, then next weekend we'll get through some windows and clear brush. But anyway, this is Joe, St. Bernard Acres, sitting here in the gas station on a rainy day. Thank God we're getting rain. Uh, it's supposed to rain every day this week, hopefully. But sitting here on a rainy night. Appreciate y'all watching. Remember, like, share, comment, do all those kind of things. I'm out.